In this one, let's learn how to solve this kind of quadratic equation. So first, we are going to use a distributive property. So I will have the following, therefore. I'm taking that 2x and multiplying by the x inside the parentheses. So it's 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And then you got to distribute the 2x over to the 2 individually. So it becomes 2x times 2, which is 4x. And all of this is still equal to 1. So first, I use the distributive property on the term on the outside of the parentheses. And then I take the 1 to the left side through subtraction. So it ends up being 2x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. And now we're going to use the quadratic formula. We have to identify the values of a, b, and c. So a is 2, b is 4, and then c is negative 1. Make sure that you take the signs with the values that you identify, and then you plug those into the quadratic formula. So I'm going to number these steps. This is going to be like 1, 2, 3. That's helpful when I need to make a reference sometimes to a previous step. So then in step 4, what I'm going to do is plug these in. So x equals, from the formula, you put down the negative, then you put in the value of b, which is 4. You put the plus or minus from the formula. Then under the root symbol, you stick in b squared minus 4ac. So in our case, it's going to be 4 squared minus 4 times the value of a, which is 2, times the value of c, which is negative 1, just like that. And all of this is set over... 2 times the value of a, which is 2, just like that. So let me just do this. Take a look. I'm going to emphasize this point. a is the value 2. So I put that in blue. That goes in this position right here. So it's 2 times the value of a. It's also in this position right here. I'm going to be clear on that. Let me grab a different color. So this right here, this is the value of b that I'm putting in black. It goes in that position and goes in this position right here. And lastly, let me also emphasize that last step, that this here is negative 1, that kind of yellowish color. That's the value of C, and that goes right here in this position. So the color coding is meaningful the way I designed it here. Let me just trace back over the 4 also. So remember, this is here 4. And then you just work out the value based on that. So let's get back to that right now. That's step number 5. Therefore, I'm going to have the following x equals negative 4 plus or minus. Under the root symbol, you work on that expression. So it's going to be 4 squared, which is 16. Be very careful when you do the negative 4 times the 2, because there's also a negative 1. So it ends up looking like this. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8. So it looks like this. 16 plus positive 8. And on the bottom, you have 2 times 2, which is 4. Then you continue with step number 6 here. You're going to have x equals, again, negative 4 plus or minus. You work under the root symbol. 16 plus 8 is 24. You set that still over the 24. Continue at step 7 up top. So that looks as follows. x equals negative 4 plus or minus. 24 has a perfect square as a factor, so we need to take care of that. Take a look. I'm going to, do, I'm going to write 24 as 4 times 6 for that reason. And then this is still set over the 4 in the bottom. Step 8, x equals here, minus 4, plus or minus. Then you apply the root to the 4 and the 6 individually. So it looks like this right here. Again, I'm being super detailed here. When you have the root of a product, you can distribute the root to each factor of the product individually, the way I'm doing at step 8. Then on step number 9, I will have x equals negative 4 plus or minus. The root of 4 is 2. You copy the root of 6. And all of this is still set equal dot positive 4. Some of these you can very likely do in your head. But I'm showing you, that's why I'm detailed. Now here, take a look. Back at step number 9, where it says negative 4, I'm going to rewrite that as, for example, negative 2 times positive 2. Take a look. And I'm doing that because I want to be able to factor from the top in step number 9. So I'm going to erase that 4 at step number 9. And I'm going to write it this way. Take a look. Negative 2 times 2. Because that is the same as negative 4. So you keep the negative with one of the values. And here, take a look. For example, that positive 2 I'm writing in blue at step 9. And that 2 right there, they're clearly a common factor. Therefore, you can pull that outside of parentheses. So it goes as. 2 on the outside, and what's left over then is negative 2, plus or minus the root of 6, all of that divided by 4, and now again at step number 10, we want to simplify. 
So the four in the bottom of step number 10, I'm going to rewrite that again. Take a look this way as an example. So let me erase that. I'm going to erase the four in the bottom of step 10 right there. Let me erase that. And I'm going to rewrite that as two times two. And I'm doing that because then I'll be able to cancel off easily, okay? So it's just two times two, you see? Once you know that, then you can just cross off as follows. Let me grab a different color. This two divides away with that two. And therefore, at the very end, at step 11, what remains will be the following, that x equals here negative 2 plus or minus the root of 6 divided by 2. And then, remember, this is really two separate values of x. But this is also acceptable with the plus and minus between the two terms in the top. I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching.